What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Respect and Pray Show with your truly Miguel Mike Medina, Triple M. And on this episode is gonna be a good one. Why? Because this young fella is killing it. He's doing great things while he's still being an undergrad student. He's a sports broadcaster, writer, podcaster, contributor, host, producer. I mean, he's a jack of all trades and he's doing this at a young age. So I'm so looking forward to showing you guys this interview and get to know a little bit more about him. So stick around because it's gonna be a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor to present to you, Adam Bernstein. Adam, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. All right, so we're gonna start from the top. What inspired you? to get into sports media? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, I think just from the beginning, I, I used to play sports. And then I think everyone kind of has that uh, realization that, you know, they're not going to go on and play professionally. And uh, I sort of had like an emotional connection to sports and I wanted to, you know, eventually work in it. So I decided that I wanted to, uh, you know, study that in college and, you know, cover some of the teams that we have on campus. And I've been going with it ever since. What are some of your favorite moments as a sports journalist? Yeah, uh, I mean, there's a lot of things, you know, from the right off the bat, I'm um, going into my senior year now, but uh, I've had the opportunity to, like I said, cover men's and women's athletics at URI. Uh, I've done sports broadcasting, writing articles. Uh, I host a podcast of my own. Um, and then most recently I had an internship with Madison Square Garden. Uh, which I wouldn't have had if it weren't for everything that I was doing at school. Um, I recently found out that that was a 2.7 acceptance rate into that program. So uh, definitely a lot of things that I've been fortunate to have had opportunities and achievements. But um, yeah, no, I'm just I'm I'm sort of a go getter. I'm I'm happy to try and uh, get involved in as much as possible, and you know, get my name out there. And speaking of podcast, you're a person that wears so many hats, which I can relate and I admire anyone who's versatile in that regard. You are the founder, producer, host, and editor of Rowdy Rumble. And it's been going on since August, 2020. How did you come up with the name? And did the pandemic motivate you to start a podcast? Uh, yeah, actually, um, that's what I tell people a lot. Um, so it's the Rowdy Rumble podcast. Uh, I came up with the name because I, I go to the University of Rhode Island. so. People often refer to that as roadie um, or, you know, the roadie Rams. So I uh, came up with the roadie rumble. It kind of came off uh, nice off the tongue and, um, you know, it flowed a little bit, came up with the logo. And then actually, yeah, um, pandemic hit at the end of my freshman year. And then going into my sophomore year, there really weren't a lot of opportunities on campus. And you know, I was trying to network, get my name out there with a lot of athletes, coaches, you know, other media members. So I decided to take advantage of Zoom, um, which we're still using here in 2022. Um, and I decided, you know, to start up this podcast. I've been going with it ever since. And I'm definitely fortunate that I I started it because, you know, I've been able to meet a lot of people from around the world, you know, people who once played at the university, who now play overseas professionally, you know, in Croatia and Lithuania, other countries like that. Um, and also I've been able to, you know, improve my interviewing skills. Um, it's allowed me to come out of my comfort zone a little bit and also, you know, just the skills like how to produce, how to edit. Um, and, you know, how to market on social media platforms. I'll be tuning in to the podcast now that you mentioned that and I discovered it. So I'll be definitely tuning into that because I, I love sports, because I love sports podcasts and I love supporting independent ones as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. You got it. What's been your biggest strength? and weakness in your career so far? Yeah, I mean, kind of just going off of the last answer for weakness. I mean, it's been really tough in college uh, with the pandemic. You know, there are a lot of unknowns, uh, plenty of broadcasts that I've showed up to where, you know, the technology wasn't working. There weren't fans in the arena. Um, you know, maybe the game, I traveled all the way across the state once for a game and uh, we were having internet issues. We weren't able to broadcast at one point. Um, so just kind of, you know, being able to adjust and being flexible 
um, at all times, whether it's broadcasting, I've had issues uh, on Zoom as well with some of the guests that I've had. So, you know, learning how to, you know, take a step back, be patient, um, take a deep breath and, you know, sort of work through things while staying professional, because obviously this is a field or an industry I'm trying to get into. Um, so that's definitely been a weakness of mine. I feel like I've definitely improved at that uh, in the last three or four years that I've been at school. Um, and then uh, just the strength is really just being motivated. Um, I'm really just motivated at all times. You know, I'm happy to hop on a podcast and talk about some of the work that I've done. Um, I'm really, you know, confident in the content that I produce. So any article that I write, any, you know, podcast that I do, any broadcast that I do, I'm going right to Facebook to share it with some family and friends. So I think just being able to stay motivated, stay on track, and then always stay busy, you know, outside of the classroom, um, we have homework, but I kind of assign myself homework where it's, you know, I'm the one signing up for a broadcast, whereas other people are, you know, not making that sacrifice and wanting to enjoy themselves on a Friday or Saturday night. But if you're motivated and you're staying on track, then uh, the success will come in no time. So. Sure will. Sure will. Um, where can we follow you on social media? Yeah. Um, so on Twitter, I'm Adam Bernstein, 18 uh, on Instagram, just underscore Adam Bernstein. And then if you want to follow the podcast, it's just Rody Rumble on everything. That's uh, R-H-O-D-Y and then Rumble, R-U-M-B-L-E. Mike Trout or Bryce Harper? Mike Trout. Best pitcher this season, Justin Verlander. Or I'm forgetting this guy's name from the Marlins. Oh, I'm Sandy on Calderon. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I was going to go Jacob DeGrom from the Mets, but between those two, I'll probably say Justin Verlander. Okay. Best young quarterback in the game, Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson? Ooh, that's actually tough. Um, I'll go Mahomes because he has a ring, but I do like Lamar. Who would you start your team? And this is hockey I'm talking about. Okay. Sidney Crosby or the great A, Alex Ovechkin? I'm going Ovi. I, I can't. I'm a, I'm a New York uh, sports fan when it comes to hockey, so I have a little bit more respect for, for Ovechkin. Um, but, you know, I guess being in the Metro and going up against both of those teams, it's, it's really hard to respect Crosby. I mean, he's had a tremendous career, but. Uh, I do like Ovechkin, so I'll probably go Ovechkin. Her captain in New York, Derek Jeter or Mark Messier? Oh, Jeter. Well, that's it. Um, that completes this. Um, Adam, thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview with me. Much respect and praise to you. Like I said, this show is all about giving people their respect, their praise on things that they're doing right now. Clearly, you're very young, early on in your career, but I seen the work that you're doing on LinkedIn. It's been great to connect with you and best of luck to you. Keep putting those grades up, keep working on your craft. And I'm pretty sure that um, one day we'll see you in bigger platforms. I appreciate that. Thank you again for having me. Well, that does it for this episode of the Respect and Pray Show. Stay tuned for the next episode. And as always, have mutual respect, mutual love, and mutual admiration. So, until next time, 